Welcome to this channel. So in the previous video, I shared that in order for Wing Chun to function properly, Wing Chun must have both receiving and sending. And uh, this is accord to the ancient Wing Chun definition, not my definitions. So uh, we have many Wing Chun friends wrote me, asked me to elaborate more. And today I'm going to share with you. So we in the West, in the US and in Europe, we need to nail this down once for all. Otherwise, it is a disaster. And I choose to share with you, not because I'm the best fighter or uh, I'm the grandmaster. No, I'm just one of the wing tuners. But what I'm going to share with you is history records of technology evidence and what it is. So once you know this, you get the foundations of Wing Chun. You know what it is. So it is no longer that uh, I, my interpretation, <coughs> your interpretation. You look at, say, Judo. Do you need 10,000 type of interpretation of what is Judo? Or you take uh, Western boxing. Do we need 10,000 explanations or opinion? I believe so. I think so. My grandmaster says so to uh, describe what is Western boxing. Or Western boxing is Western boxing. Anybody who practice Western boxing, you look at him, no, oh yeah, this is Western boxing. This is BJJ. This is Muay Thai. The uniqueness. Because they have a uniqueness, they have a principle to practice that. And the more they flown with it, then you can see in their momentum handling the uniqueness of that stuff. Now, Wing Chun has to do the same. Or else you don't have Wing Chun. Just don't kid ourselves. Okay? Now, the reality, the truth is the Wing Chun or the post 1970 Wing Chun, the post-1970 Wing Chun. You don't find the receive. It is a reality. And you also find out that there are many so-called uh, most authentic Wing Chun, secret Wing Chun, oldest Wing Chun, all of this Wing Chun or internal Wing Chun, all of this Wing Chun, also do not have receive. So it is like a case in the patent lawsuit. So uh, if one get sued, that one violating the patent, you go to court and the judge asking, okay, you say that you are not violating this original pattern. But could you please tell me why do you make the same mistake as the original pattern? So if I say that I claim my Wing Chun 1850 is the original, the oldest Wing Chun, the, the, the supreme Wing Chun. And the judge asked me, so Hendrik, how come you're this most authentic, most oldest, most supreme Wing Chun. Make the same mistake as the post-1970 Wing Chun. It doesn't have receiving. So you know that this is caught right there that it is. You're just copying something you don't know. And yet you made it up things. Well, look around in Wing Chun. Is it true it's like that? 
So today I'd like to share with you, we want to end this once for all. What I'm telling you just now is not to uh, blame. Once you know what happened with today's, what I'm going to share with you, please take this back and develop it. There's no point to blame what in the past have to move forward. You know that there is a gap until today from 1970s. You know there's a gap, there's a void there. And in 1970s, you know that Grandmaster Yiman said clearly receive. Your body has to be like the rattan, R-A-T-T-A-N, the rattan, like the bamboo rattan. But after that, who follows that? Let's face the reality. Okay, so let's get into technical. The first thing we always have to remember, Chinese Kung Fu, the real deal Chinese Kung Fu, always is based on the general Chi Chi Guang's classic, chapter 14. Shaolin Kung Fu is based on that. Wing Chun is based on Shaolin, so Wing Chun is based on that. So big deal, uh, the general Chi Chi Guang chapter 14. Well, it is a big deal because that chapter 14 is a real life battlefield experience tested type of training. Face it, General Chi Chi Guang in the history of China, in the war and so forth, he is rating top three or sometimes it's number one for this thousand of years. Look at his battle. Chapter 14 is how he trained his army. And look around. Which grandmaster have go even close to him? Or oh, it is 10 miles away from uh, General Chi Chi Guang. So the bottom line is the chapter 14 of General Chi Chi Guang. Okay, don't get deluded by other myths or magic stuff. It doesn't exist. So based on this General Chi Chi Guang's chapter 14, only with that we can talk about Wing Chun, ancient Wing Chun, which is the offspring of the Shaolin Short Strike. Okay, so we often heard four verses. Actually, sorry, it's so three verses. Loi lao hui song, lat sao jik chong, yi xin wai jun, gong yao bing yong. Four, sorry, okay. So, Loi Lao Hui Song, come receive, goes, you send it out. Just like Lao Hui Song. Lat Sao Sik Song, disengage, you go in, you attack. Disengage, you attack. Disengage, you attack. That's number two. The third one, Yi Xin Wai Chun, you dodge to get in. You dodge to get in. Yi Xin Wai Chun, you dodge to get in. The last is Gong Yao Bing Yong, you use both hard and soft. Okay, so in Mandarin is Lai Liu Qi Song, Tuo Shou Zhi Chong, Yi San Wei Jing, Gang Rou Bing Yong. Now I'm going to share with you what is this exactly for these four verses. These four verses describe the uniqueness of Wing Chun. The ancient Wing Chun, not the post 1970s Wing Chun. Okay. This is the core of it. It, it, if one have to, uh, how to say that? If one want to claim that this is Wing Chun, one better, uh, satisfy this. Okay. 
So the first thing is Loi Lao Hui Song. Come receive, uh, go sending away. Come receive, go sending away is a description of close range fighting and sticking fighting. Stick and close range. Need or uh, is described very clearly with the Loi Lao Hui Song. Okay. I seldom use this wooden dami. And right now I'm only using one hand because this is really not the dami you want to use. Okay, not the ordinary dami. That after you see this my uh, presentation you know why. Loi Lao Hui Song means say if I'm standing here in this distance where he can he can hit you, I can he can hit me, I can hit me, I can strike him. Okay. Both can get each other. Now, if I'm standing in this, I do not touch a dummy anymore. That means he cannot get me, I cannot get him. Okay? Now, of course, if I'm further away, that means he can, his kick cannot get me, I cannot get him. I cannot get him, he cannot get me. So this is the security zone. Okay? This dummy here is like the middle of the plum flower. Okay, the middle of the plum flower. This is the petal of the flower. Me here is the branch outside of the plum flower. Okay? So, you need to know that because it's based on plum flower footwork, right? So, we need to know exactly what's going on. Now, loi lao, loi lao, meaning... If he if I'm in this zone where he can he can strike me, I can strike him, he get in, he he he, he attack me. The opponent attack me. Right away I receive him and I get him. This means I stick and I get into the the uh, the close body zone. Okay, the close body already. So my better field is here, this close body. So again. He throw me a strike. I receive and I come in. You see, I shoot him with my, 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 my knee already. And this is receiving. This is a striking. Okay? So this is Tan Ta. But you get a knee there. You have to get in there. Tan Ta. Okay? Now, so you need to have the receive to get in. In case, if my Tan Sao is doing pairing or blocking or pressuring him, this is going to cause me cannot get in. Okay? So without the receive, I will have no way I can get in. Same thing with this Fok Sao. Fok Sao is a receive and get in. The same thing, I strike him there. Okay? If Fok Sao is pressure like that, he's going to press out and I'm right away get, get into his kicking range. The same thing is if I block him, I parry him with this Tan Sao out, I'm in a kicking range. Okay? So, you want to avoid that with a short strike art, a close body short strike art. So, You attack him here, you receive him here, you strike him here. Guess what? This is sticking at him already. And so, okay, if he shoot at me, I get in and I miss his hand, but I still protect myself. I'm getting close, sticking at him. So this is Loi Lao. So meaning that at Wing Chun, you always have this to get in. If you don't have this receive to get in, you cannot get in no matter what you do here. That is Lai Lao. That's why the first is talk about receive. Okay? Now, 
Hoi Song is I'm here receiving. Okay? Striking. He escaped. The opponent will escape for sure. So he escaped. He want to go. This hand, this striking hand, I can turn into a folk sound. Again, this is a receiving. And I strike him. I send him. Okay? So I receive him and I send him. But this is from the different angle already. This angle is come from here like that. This triangle is come from here like that. I send him out. You see my body is keeping changing angle and I'm receiving, striking, I'm sending, I'm striking. So this is called sticking body short strike. When you, you know, you train until you can do it in your dream. You come in, you strike him, you strike him. So this is Lai Lao Hoi Song. You always have to receive. Your strike is always sending. Your body is one part receive, one part sending. That is Lai Lao Hui Song. That, that's why it's called sticking body short strike. You stick at him. Once you get in, you stick at him. Okay? That's the first verse. The second verse is Lat Sao Jek Chong. Lat Sao Jek Chong is a different, a different way of saying Chi Chi Guang said. No parry, no resisting. Do not parry, do not resisting. You go straight in. I receive, I don't parry him. I don't block him. Okay, so I continue to uh, to to, uh, to to receive and strike him, receive and strike him, receive and strike him. Okay, and I keep in sticking at him. Now the minute you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this, you do all kind of stuff. You are keeping your distance this way, and even worse if you push it out. Say if I'm like this, I strike like that, he pushed me out. He pushed me out. You give me the momentum to strike. Okay? So, your Lai Lao Hui Song. Come, receive. He walk away, you send him out. Okay? Strike him, but in one hand, you always stick at him. Now, you don't parry, you don't resist. Yi Xin Wai Jun Using dodge to enter. Same as what Jenna Chi Ji Guang defined in the uh, chapter 14. Dodging in is Name as soft row. If I want to receive him, I dodge in. I'm not going to be here. Block him, parry him, forward pressure him, or banging my hand like that. Well, if he's 80 pounds, I can bang him. If he's 250 pounds, can I bang him? Disregard of how. How uh, how uh, how how what they call it? How solid is my hand, or how hard is my bridge? So, one simply dodge and get in while this receiving and this receiving is self. Okay, not twisting like that. You know, try to manipulate. Uh, you you are looking at. See, everybody said. Oh, yeah, you're going for the body. You don't playing, you don't chasing hands. You do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. Blocking all this is meaning by chasing hand. Not chasing hand is exactly the same with what Jenna Chi Chi Guang said too. No parry, no resisting. You just go in, you slip in. You receive and slip in. And when you go in, you are dodging in. 
because that is a consideration of the, the, the momentum come to you and the timing, how can you make use of his momentum? I already wrote that in the uh, 1560s Kung Fu book, okay? General Chan, uh, Chi Chi Gong teaching. So the last, we have go through the three, right? Lai Lao Hui Song. Lai Lao Hui Song, okay? Don't tangle, don't parry. That's not Sao Jik Chong. Yi Xin Wai Jun. That is the dodging in, not go straight. Okay? And then the last is Gong Yao Ping Yong. Soft and hard you use in the same time. What do you mean? Well, all Wing Chun is like, uh, a move is like that. This is soft. This strike is hard. This is, this Fok Sao is soft. This is hard. Then it is Gong Yao Ping Yong. So, Loi Lao Hui Song, Lat Sao Jik Chong, Yi Xin Wai Jun, Gong Yao Ping Yong. It describes how a Wing Chun uniqueness is. So, one train, one train, one train, all this. So, it is not like. Uh, in the previous uh, YouTube, it is not techniques. One has to flown with this four in every move because at every move, even though it is just tanda, it is lai lao, hui song already. It is gong yao ping yong. Soft and hard used together. It is dodging. It is not parry. It is not uh, resisting. So, so what is Wing Chun trained for? Wing Chun trained for the proficiency in, in doing this. Loi Lao Hui Song, meaning you stick at him and strike him. Lat Sao Jik Chong, meaning that you don't parry him, you don't parry, you don't resist, you don't blocking him, you don't push him, you go in. Okay? Lat Sao Jik Chong. Yi Xin Wai Chun, define. When you want to go in, you want to go with the angle, dodge in, don't go straight. Gong Yao Ping Yong, your every move, one side will be soft, another side would be hard. Meaning that one side will be received, another side will be sending. Sending is a striking, receiving is sticking. Wing Chun is this. Now you look around, you have the structure, you have the uh, chain pan directly like this. What are you doing? Is that still Wing Chun? By the ancient definition, it is not. It is violating even General Chi Chi Kuang's teaching or General Chi Chi Kuang's principle that when you go fight, you must not do this. By violating that left and right. And then you add in Taiji, I have to be soft. Fa Jing. Well, well, that is called dense. Yes, dense, okay? Soft meaning you'll be able to receive it. It's like a rattan. Okay, this way you receive like a rattan. The rat, you push the rattan of the bamboo, you know, that's very flexible. Bamboo, you push one way, it shoot you another way. But it is not. You push me, and then I shoot it. No, it's the same time it happened. That's why I call Gong Yao Ping Yong. Okay? And of course, Loi Lao Hui Song is not just this one. Loi Lao Hui Song is already this in. That's Wing Chun. And once it get in, it's not going to stay in the same angle. It's going to change angles. So, so what secret techniques? You want to know the momentum, which is supporting the techniques. As the other day I said, I can do a, 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 a sun punch this way. I can do a sun punch this way. I can do a sun punch this way. So which sun punch is the proper sun punch? If you want to say techniques. So it is not technique. It's the momentum. Loi Lao Hui Song Lat Sao Jik Chong Yi Xin Wai Jun. Gong Yao Ping Yong is a momentum. 
if you are flown with this momentum you practice so much that you've flown with it every step you're using you've flown with it then you can be any you can generate any type of techniques when you need it that is the soul of it so like lao hui song lao jik chong yi xin wai zun gong yao bing yong is the soul of the entire wing chun do we follow that anymore <coughs> are we violating left and right and we even violating uh general chi ji guang general chi ji guang said you must never blocking resisting or pairing what do you do sure if it's your student it is a smaller guy a slower speed guy you do that you try to do that with the western boxing the jab of the western boxing see whether you get a, a strike right away so the key of Rai Lao Hui is you want to get in right away you crush in you disable him by handling his body so that's why he said Wing Chun said do not chasing hand you try to chase hand of the uh, of the western boxing in the in the jab cross hook so as usual often i receive uh wing chun and say you know you need to demonstration uh technique is a uh, 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 theory and so forth my question is that you do all the demonstration for past 50 60 years everybody have their demonstration either this technique that technique and fudging how come you don't know this thing so what is the good of those demonstrations what is it and then keeping saying that wing chun is wang chun eternal spring is uh, is the praise spring and then oh yeah because of uh, this grandmaster said uh, 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 the it is not the praise spring it is the eternal spring you know what there are a lot of uh, uh, villagers who do not who is not literate since 18 uh, since 1850s the the the, the loss of the, the the wing chun ancestor uprising there are a lot of people we can know today that they are illiterate and when they're illiterate they can write a wrong collector and you're going to go spiral with it eternal uh praise as in the court pattern court example i share with you i just have to ask why is your mistake is the same with the original pattern so disregard of one is over there uh arguing is the eternal is the uh uh, uh praise praise spring or eternal spring whose epitaph have writing or what those are just character and you get a lot of villagers who have no idea on the, the chinese thing because of uh for past 140 years or so chinese uh, china is in a chaotic situations those are chinese character chinese language we are talking a uh, martial arts a uniqueness of wing chun now if you don't have that characteristics you don't follow general chi ji guang it is guaranteed a kiss of death and 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 like the other day everybody don't like it when i say the the, the canton wusu associations create that new wing chun set which is nonsense okay it's just misleading you're fighting like that in this in this in this zone okay in, in this zone like that are you watching movie or what face it in the west our opponent or competitor is western boxing is mma is thai boxer is judo car is bjj you want people to respect you you better know what you're doing you better have the skill you don't have to be the top of the world but you have the skill and uniqueness and they say good that is a good technology like we look at bjj 
good. BJJ is very good at ground. But it is not Western boxing. Not everything. But we respect it. Same with Western boxing. Oh, in this range. In the Picabu range. It is good, man. We respect it. Because it's technical. So what is your Wing Chun? Look at the UFC and MMA fight for past uh, since 1996. What do you have? Reality is like that. That is reality. You still want to mess around with all this thing? Then we all say you have to mold, be mold. You have to respect your teacher. Oh, you put a big picture of your teacher. Oh, I bow to teacher. Did we listen to what our teacher tell us, teach us? Or we don't? Or we create our own style and do whatever we want? So, it is really, really clear already. The technical stuff, like yesterday I said, the technical stuff, the momentum, the breathing, the VO2 max, the uniqueness, we don't work with it. We keep in sitting down there, have a cup of tea. Oh yeah, my grandmaster say this, this grandmaster say that, that grandmaster say that. Oh, this is true because this is a, it is originally, it is a eternal spring. You play, you play a wooden dummy, try to pull people this far away. Yet it is like this. It's not to try to pull it like this. It's like this. So what to say? So this is what I'd like to share with you today. Remember that four thing. Okay. Remember that uh, that that four verses. Loi lao hui song lat sao jie chong, yi xin wai zun gong yao ding yong. Go read Grandmaster Yip Man's uh, interview, 1972. He's telling the truth. Okay, he is telling the truth. We know that, you know, I don't say Grandmaster Yip Man is perfect, but at least the part. He present in that uh, in that interview is the truth from his heart, and today today we can confirm that with the Shaolin Sword Strike. You respect it that way. You don't respect it. Make it like a god. Don't make Grandmaster Yiman like a god, but you respect him for he do his best to protect Wing Chun, so that Wing Chun be able to pass down. We have to ask, what are we doing? In one way, do we still know what is in the past? Another way, for past 60 years, what do we contribute when you compare with the worldwide improvement of the martial arts? The Kyokushin, the Thai boxing, the Western boxing, the BJJ. Look at people, how much they have already progressed. Are we still sitting down there yam cha and talking all this thing i think you think i believe you believe well the basic four verses for four queen quit which describe the characteristics which accord the general chi chi and selling subtract we don't know no don't know nobody packed this and then go standing down there tucking your tailbone with your mind power whatever power you pan this way are you serious are you serious And then you come with the Tai Chi, this is called South. Well, I can share with you. The South and Heart used together, it is accord to the Chinese philosophy. If you want to talk about philosophy. Because Yin and Yang always have to be there. Yin and Yang is like the two faces of the same coin. There's no such thing as I have only yin or soft. So soft is yin, hard is yang. So soft one side, hard one side. You use the coin, two faces of the coin together. There's no such thing as soft. 
Fajin hat. Are you kidding? Are you saying that I only have to use one side of the coin at one time? Or the, the, the coin have only one side? The soft side. And then it turned into the hard side. Of course, it's not. The reality is a coin have two, two faces. One face soft, one face uh, hard. One face is yin and one face is yang. When you use the coin, you use both sides. You don't say that, oh, I have to use soft. And then come timing wise, momentum wise, reality wise, is completely. I really don't know what to say, speechless. So, this is your Chinese philosophy, which is not the what Chinese talking about in the ancient. So, enough whining today, okay? And again, you want me to shut up? I'm sickly something already. Many of my teachers do not live until 60 years old. Cruise good fighter. I'm 60 something already. If I don't say this, if I die tonight, everything going with me to the, my grave. I say it not to blame, but to say, hey, you have a, a, a treasure like in the Buddha's Sutta story. A guy have a jewels, a pearls, a, a, a very, pre, uh, 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 how to say that, a very valuable, precious jewels or pearls in his, uh, in his chest. But he go around looking for pearls, for looking for, for, for money, like a beggar. Okay, so he said, pearls here, like your credit card of $1 million, you put it here and you don't know that. And then you go say, please give me five cents, please give me five cents, poor me, poor me. It is a time. Stop be a beggar. Look at what it is. This is a billion dollar credit card there. Use it. Know where it is. So that's what the Buddha said. This is your Buddha nature. And we know that that four verses is Wing Chun. It's the uniqueness of Wing Chun. So this is what I'd like to share with you. Okay. And again, don't trust me. Don't believe me. Go, go dig it out. See whether it is like that or not.